Oh, there's so many misconceptions about blockchain. I find there's lots of misconceptions and probably be hard to think of all of them. But one misconception is um, that miners are nodes and nodes are miners. They're actually two different things and they have two different roles to play. Uh, another misconception would be what cryptocurrencies are used for, especially anonymous cryptocurrencies. If you mention anonymous cryptocurrency, people tend to assume people are doing illegal activities. However, um, in current business, when you are getting into a contract with another company, you don't always want them to know how much money is in your bank account um, because they will be able to leverage that against you. And that's where for business, uh, an anonymous cryptocurrency would be very helpful. Yeah, there's a lot of misconceptions with blockchain technology. Um, people, right now, everyone is a little bit overhyped, although that's somewhat subsided from you know, late 2017, 2018. Um, but yeah, people think that you can sort of apply it to anything and it will just replace old technologies. It's, don't think that's quite the case. I think some of the old established technologies do what they do because they are better. Um, that's not to say blockchain technologies can't improve that, but it's not just to slap the word on top and you know it'll be 10% better, 50% better. You you know you do actually need to apply the technology appropriately. You can't just uh, you know, and we've seen a number of cases where companies have added the word blockchain to their to their profile, and overnight their stocks have risen three three times. And it's just purely because of speculation and hype. You know those sort of things aren't necessarily sustainable in the long term. Um, so I think there's a, there's a few misconceptions around the technology and how it can be applied. One of the biggest misconceptions that I hear is that cryptocurrency is the only application of blockchain that is relevant, or that there is some kind of criminal underground that will take over the world if blockchain becomes a highly adopted technology. But one more that I really wanted to touch on because I think it's so important to debunk is that a lot of people don't feel comfortable talking about blockchain, showing up to blockchain events, learning more, because they don't think they're qualified, because they're not technical. So uh, what I would say to all of you is we need so many different skills to make this thing work, from um, governance people to communications people, designers, um, really any skill set you can think of. So having the confidence to just show up and learn and know that nobody is an expert in the space is an incredibly important piece to make this thing work. Uh, is it all hype? Yeah, why is everyone talking about it? Is it all hype? Will it exist? Is it just, does it, everything need to go on the blockchain? All those questions. Um, and I think, yeah, there's a lot of hype. It's a lot of excitement, which is, makes it fun to be in the community. I just think it's a race of technology, a bit like the internet was uh, back then. Um, I'm afraid to say I was there back then. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like, it will exist behind the scenes. You won't even know that your data's on a blockchain. You won't even feel it, but it will be part of our everyday life in the future. Yeah, I think it's probably that uh, blockchain is only for techies and geeks, right? Because uh, in its simplest form, blockchain is a distributed database with trust mechanisms around it. Um, and so, you know, I think blockchain is a concept that everyone needs to understand and we need to do more to to really involve a, a wider group of people in the community um, and focus less on the underlying technology, leave that to the software engineers and techies. Uh, but there's a important conversation we need to be having around the business applications um, and, and how we manage the change around this transition um, and looking at the use cases and, and the risk and control frameworks and the standardization that can come around this, which is certainly not a technical conversation. Oh, there's so many misconceptions about blockchain. I mean, even by many of the so-called industry professionals, they just have, in my opinion, very little idea about what it is they're actually dealing with. I mean. Um, I, I think um, a lot of the misconception stems from the fact that um, blockchains are actually a very slow and shitty implementation of a data structure that has been around for a very long time, which is a database. Um, and I, I don't think corporations or even a lot of you know ICO players and that sort of thing really understand what the benefits of it actually are, and instead they try and implement systems which could be better suited to a centralized database or some sort of distributed hashing table um, instead of a blockchain. They, they look at the blockchain as this 
cool thing that's going to change the trustless nature of everything. And then they naively create a business model which requires the implicit trust of everyone using their system to trust them. Um, like all these supply chain blockchains and everything else. I, blockchain doesn't solve the, um, the critical mass problem. I, I think the biggest misconception in blockchain is that if you have a blockchain um, for a specific industry or a specific asset, like let's say art notarization, if you create an art notarization blockchain, that doesn't mean people are gonna use it. And in order for it to be useful, everyone has to use it. So you have a lot of these ideas cropping up where you need a lot of adoption for them to work and it's just not gonna happen because people have tried it before and it's just not a thing. There are a lot of misconceptions about what blockchain is and working in the blockchain industry. Probably the biggest one is that blockchain is gonna fix everything. Um, there are a lot of people out there, I think it's happening less now, but it's just, let's slap blockchain in front of it. We have a problem, blockchain will fix it. And realistically, blockchain isn't going to solve everything. It's actually really bad for a lot of things. There, there are certain things it's really good for, but for a lot of things, it's very, it's very inefficient. It's slower than normal. It, it, it's just takes a long time to do anything. So I would say the fact that people think the answer is blockchain to solve their problems all the time, a lot of the times it's not and I'm finding less and less proper use cases for blockchain. The things I definitely think it's useful for is privacy, because uh, the only way to stop people from taking your data, first of all, is to not have it stored anywhere in the first place, and this is a perfect way to do it. Um, so that, that was what I would say is the biggest misconception to blockchain is that it's gonna save the world, it's gonna solve everything, and it, it has its things that it's very good for, and those are the things that, that really work for it, not everything else.